Hello and uh, welcome to the April uh, Mayor's Update here from my office. Lots going on as we enter this beautiful spring season. I uh, hope you're getting used to the crazy weather that we're having, uh, but also getting outside and enjoying some sunshine. It's been busy here both at City Hall uh, and then lots going on in Lansing. So uh, just this past week I was in Lansing for a couple days doing a number of things, one meeting with legislators. Uh, I testified in front of the local government uh, committee on a bill that would enable our city to have a Grand Rapids land bank. So that's been a policy priority for a number of years since the Kent County Land Bank was dissolved. Also uh, supportive of this package of housing bills. Uh, it's a housing TIF package of four bills that will enable us to have more tools to help uh, really fund the gap when it comes to building affordable housing throughout our community. So that's an, another really important package of bills. I was glad to be able to go and speak to legislators about it. And then I attended the uh, Michigan Municipal League CAPCON conference. It's a conference they do every March and wanted to let you all know uh, that during that conference we gave an award, a Legislator of the Year Award, to our very own Senate Majority Leader, Senator Brinks. So if you see her, congratulate her. It was really nice to be able to honor all of her work and her leadership in Lansing. Um, here in Grand Rapids, we're gearing up to, I'd say, uh, go through our budget process. So as you know, our city manager presents a budget to the city commission every year. He'll be doing that next week at our city commission meeting, and that will kick off uh, about five to six weeks of weekly budget workshops, budget discussions. We'll have a public hearing uh, where the community can weigh in on the budget recommendation with the goal to adopt the budget uh, before the end of May. That's actually part of our charter. We have to have it adopted by the end of May and then it goes into effect on July 1. Um, so be uh, prepared to get regular updates about that uh, as we work through the budget. Uh, our next commission meeting on April 25th, we also have our 7 p.m. meeting and during that meeting we have a scheduled public hearing on uh, whether or I should say what you think uh, about the Grand Rapids Police Department being able to use drones uh, as another tool to help them as they make sure that they're responding to safety issues throughout our city. So we'll have a public hearing at 7 p.m. related to that and then that will come back before the City Commission for an ultimate vote uh, at one of our meetings in May. I uh, also want to give a huge shout out and congratulations to our new fire chief. Uh, so Mr. Brad Brown was selected as our next fire chief. He will soon be sworn in as we say goodbye to Chief Lehman and welcome him into that new position. And then outside of City Hall, there's lots going on. So I have a Mayor's Youth Council. They are a group of about 40 students who I get to work with throughout the entire year. So they meet with me multiple times a month. And one of the projects they do every year is they organize a fun event called Kids Speak. So this is where we as elected officials and community leaders come into our chambers and uh, spend a good hour and a half listening to young people throughout our community talk about issues that are important to them. So that's uh, Friday, uh, the 21st of April, so kicks off at 10 a.m. here at City Hall, upstairs in our ninth floor chambers, and then you can follow that online. Uh, and then last, I'll just highlight a few things. We're coming into uh, spring tree planting season. Uh, so we'll be out and about planting trees. I have the Mayor's Greening Initiative in partnership with Arbor Fest uh, with the Friends of Grand Rapids Parks. So if you want to get out and volunteer and help us to plant some trees, we're going to focus on the Roosevelt Park neighborhood this year. Uh, and there's still some slots available if you want to get out and plant some trees with us. And then we have a number of park cleanup events going on over the next several weeks. And I encourage you to get out a number of our local organizations have opened back up and uh, are just a great place to spend your spring. So we have Blandford Nature Center over there on the west side. And then on my list, I haven't seen it yet, but I will, is the uh, Lantern Festival at John Ball Park Zoo. I hear it's fantastic and stunning. I can't wait to get over there and to see all of the lanterns. And I hope you get a chance to do that as well. So with that, um, those are a few updates here in this beautiful month of April. And I look forward to talking to you again next week.